primary goal of this consortium is to use well-defined human cohorts to study the human immune system, specifically to apply the latest cutting-edge technology, the so-called omics technologies, to begin to probe the human immune system as it exists at baseline. By that, I mean in the absence of any overt perturbation or how it behaves in response to vaccination or infection and to probe the response to vaccines or infections at every level of the hierarchy, at the cellular level, the molecular level, and even at the organ level. And what I find inspiring about HIPSI, apart from the broad scientific goals, is just a collaborative network of all the people involved. So currently there are nine institutions within HIPSI. Uh, each of us bring a unique perspective we have a slightly different interest, but we all converge upon major questions in human immunology. Part of HIPSI has been this learning experience of how to work in a network uh, rather than within the confines of a single laboratory, which is extremely important because that is the, that is the place where sometimes ideas are generated. But equally, it is important to step beyond the confines of the laboratory and begin to view yourself as embedded, as, as, a, as an important player in a network. Different groups can converge on important problems from different perspectives using different technologies, and HIPSI provides a culture in which these different disciplines can engage and interact, and it really fosters and nurtures that culture of interdisciplinary science. Diversity of approaches in studying the human immune system is critical because it allows different knowledge bases to be brought on to solving a complex problem. Beyond that, it also provides well-defined cohorts with lots of samples, far more than can be accumulated by a single lab. And I think the, these numbers, having sufficient numbers is critical. Collaboration is absolutely essential for the mission of HIPSI for many reasons. Answering big questions about the immune system can be more easily done in a team because no individual person or no individual lab would have all the expertise that one needs to solve a major question in biology. And HIPSI epitomizes this culture of collaboration in the way in which it nurtures teamwork, team spirit, sharing of ideas, data, and sharing of authorships and papers and so on. So in a way, uh, HIPSI has really taken the lead in fostering a collaborative culture of studying the immune system.